tell the mass, you are welcome. Our time is fast spent, please. We are all important. At this point, my Lord, the Chief Judge, we want to skip the citation to save our time. The arena is actually so stuffy. Well, if you give your kind permission, sir, we go ahead with it. Please, I will invite the acting governor, sir. His Excellency, Lucky Orimiso Ayedatiwa, to please rise up as we take his citation. is a native of Obeonla and all bearing community in the Lajaloku government area of Ondo State. He was born to the family of Mr. Titus Akonde and Mrs. Rosanna Moyebi Ayedatiwa of blessed memory on the 12th day of January 1965. He had his elementary education at St. Peter's UNA, now FAC Primary School Obeonla, Obeadun, in the larger local government area of Ondo State between 1970 and 1976. He had his secondary education at Ikosi High School K2 Lagos in 1982. He then proceeded to Lagos State College of Education, now Adeniro Musoya College of Education, Ijaniki, Lagos, where he obtained Nigerian Certificate in Education, NCE, in economics and government in 1986. After a period as a classroom teacher and subsequent diversification into business, Aida Tiwa later attended the University of Ibadan for advanced diploma in business administration with distinction in 2001. He is an alumnus of Lagos Business School, Pan Atlantic University, Lekki, Lagos with postgraduate certification in Chief Executive Education, CEP, in Business Management in 2009. He is also an alumnus of University of Liverpool, United Kingdom, where he obtained a Master Degree of Business Administration, MBA, in 2013. <laughs> Prior to the establishment of his own business in 1996, Ayedatiwa worked in other organizations and institutions, which includes SWA Assembly Plant PLC at Papa Lagos as a venture store officer between 1982 and 1983. Reliance International Schools Ijokodo Ibadon. Ijokodo Ibadon, assistant head teacher, 1987-1990. Universal Pharmaceutical Supply Co Limited in Keja Lagos as marketing officer between 1990 and 1993. Global Trust Limited, Bagada Lagos as assistant investment analyst between 1992 and 1993. Bismarck Nigeria Limited, Lagos Island, Lagos as general merchandise manager between 1994 and 1996. Ayedatiwa is a business development professional and a successful businessman with interest and substantial experience in marketing, financial and human resources management, new product development, forex trading and management, construction, real estate, hospitality, public relations, <laughs> Travels and tours. He was the MD and CEO of Blue World Group of Companies established in 1996, which includes Blue World Nigeria Limited, a trading company, Blue World BDC Nigeria Limited, a Central Bank of Nigeria CBN licensed foreign exchange trading company, and Blue World Safety Travels and Tours an IATA licensed travel agency and logistic company. He has attended further trainings and acquired knowledge and skills in business management, project management, crisis management, leadership strategy, and new product development nationally and internationally. 
He joined active politics in 2011 as a card-carrying member of Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, and All Progressive Congress, APC, in 2014. He was one of the national delegates from Ondo State at the All Progressive Congress, APC National Convention in Abuja in 2014, and later became the House of Representatives candidates of the party for Elijah Seodo Federal Constituency in 2015 in the 2050 Presidential and National Assembly General Elections. <laughs> Lucky Orimi Sahayedatiwa was appointed by President Muhammadu Buhari as Federal Commissioner who represented Ondo State on the board of Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, between 2018 and 2019. Prior to his appointment by the President, he has also held other positions in other social and professional bodies. He was the National Public Relations Officer, PRO, for Association of Buru De Change Operators of Nigeria, APCON, between 2004 and 2010, Chairman of Southwest Zone of APCON between 2010 and 2011, Trustee, Treasurer, Elijah League of Professional, President of Chief Executive Class 18, CEP 18 of Lagos Business School, Alumni Association, Executive Member of Lagos Southwest, Executive Member of Lagos Southwest Network of University of Liverpool Global Alumni. He was also conferred a Platinum Award by the Chartered Institute of Local Government and Public Administration of Nigeria, CIL GPAN, on 16 September 2021. On Sunday, 11 October 2020, Akere Dolu and Aida were re elected Governor and Deputy Governor of Ondo State as announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. On 24th February 2021, Akere Delu and Aida Siwa were sworn into office as Governor and Deputy Governor of Undo State, respectively. Lucky is married, and the marriage is blessed with three children. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you His Excellency, Honorable Lucky Ori Ms. Aida Siwa. Thank you very much, Yinka. God bless you. Mr. Speaker, sir, the SSG, APC chairman, sir, all other parts of the protocols I respectfully observe. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to hand over the microphone to my lord, the Honorable Justice Olusegun Odushola, the Chief Judge of Ondo State, for the administration of oaths and swearing in of Mr. Governor. My Lord, sir. Your Excellency. All other protocols do we observe. Please stand up to take the oath of office. Hmm? Yes. Oath of allegiance first to be taken. Federal Republic of Nigeria. So 
have me go. I, Lucky, Ori Misson, Aye Datiwa, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria that as governor of Ondo State, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and, prince and directive principles of the state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions that I will, I will to the best of my ability preserve, protect and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will abide by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances I will do right to all manner of people according to law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as a governor of Ondo State, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as governor and that I will devote myself to the service and well-being of people of Nigeria. So help me God.
friend Onogua, I recognize you. The chief imam of Akure, and Haji Yahya Tony, I recognize you. All assembly members that are here, I also recognize you. The head of security agencies, the commissioner of police, the head of uh, civil, uh, civil defense corps, all other services that are here, I recognize every one of you. I saw one cabbage here earlier. Wherever you see our traditional rulers, cabbage you, okay you, I recognize every one of you, former members of the House, the former Speaker, Rat Honorable, the how many secretaries that are here, all chairman of boards and past starters, former deputy governor, where is he? I'm a champion in here. Okay, you have to be here. I do All members of our great party that are here, the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is with a heavy heart for me that accept this honorable responsibility of taking over the reins of governors and affairs of our state following the unfortunate loss and passing of our beloved governor our leader now, dear principal, Arapuri, Luarutini, Odwayo, Akredulu, SANCON. The death of our governor is indeed a devastating shock to all of us as we have all been praying earnestly for his quick recovery and subsequent safe return to all those states. Having a back on another medical leave on Wednesday the 13th, December 2023. Indeed, there is no armor against fate. Death lays his icy hands even on kings. Permit me to use this opportunity to condone with the immediate and extended family of our dear governor, Arakuri, Oluwaruti, Odunayo, Akedulu, S-A-N-C-O-N. I would also like to condole with His Royal Majesty, Oban Kadegeshi Ogunoyi, third, the Olawa of the world. The people of our world, and indeed the entire people of all those states, over these monumental loss. The demise of Arako in Oluwaruti is indeed a great loss to me as an individual. as our relationship dated back to many years ago. Having closely worked with him when his gubernatorial journey started in the year 2012. The laws of that election 
did not affect our relationship as we continue to maintain close political and personal relationships, which climaxed in the year 2020 when he graciously picked me as his running mate for his second time in office as governor of Ondo State. Governor Akre Dolu was a man of courage and conviction who always stood for the truth and even at his own detriment. I remember vividly during the time when we had a case in court challenging our second term victory. He still pursued the matter of placing a strong security network for the people of the Southwest, could name our second country. The people of Ondo State and the entire people of the Southwest will be eternally grateful for his bold act which has greatly improved the security architecture in the region and reduced incidents of kidnapping, banditry, and other acts of criminality to the barest minimum, especially in Ondo State. His many legacies in the health sector, infrastructural development, education, industrial development, as symbolized in the Ondo Lee Industrial Hub in Norway. His innovation in Ondo State Entrepreneurial Development Agency, his tech hub, and so on and so forth will be difficult to surpass. The event which culminated in today's ceremony where Abdul is sworn in as the governor of Ondo State is a watershed in the history of Ondo State as this is the first time we are having a transition within an administration. Today's event has placed a burden on all of us to pull together and stay together as one because we have the onerous responsibility to continue to sustain the legacies of Arakun Oluarutini Odwayo Akredulu SCMCUM, which was good governance, properly called. Our leader and governor during his time, embarked upon several landmark projects, many of which have been completed and several ones ongoing. We now have the responsibility to complete them. It is, it is to the credit of Arakuri Akiridulu that the state now has a flyover bridge in order while the one in Akura is ongoing. It is necessary for us to acknowledge with pride the wonderful achievements and legacies of Arakuri Uluarutimi Odwayo Akiridulu SCMCOA. His records of performance are monumental and unprecedented. I want to assure the people of Odo State that under my watch, this administration shall continue to advance the welfare of the people. We shall always place the people first in every decision we take. It is my prayer once more that God Almighty shall grant the family and the people of Ondo State the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. Let me use this opportunity to convey our deep appreciation to Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, the Vice President, Senator 
Hashim, Shatima, GCON. The national chairman of our party, His Excellency Alhaji Abdullah Yanduji. The, the leaders of the party, both at the national and at the state levels, the elders of our states, for providing support and support to our states at this critical time. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to urge the people of Undo State to continue to remember us in their prayers as we continue to emplace good governance in our dear state. May God continue to bless the people of Undo State. Thank you and God bless. You. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Honorable Loki Uriuso Aida too. My Lord, the Chief Judge, we want to thank you so very much, sir. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, let me invite the Chief Imam of Akure Kingdom, Al Haji Sheikh Doctor. Abud Aki, Yai, Akuridi, to come and lead us in a short closing prayer. Please, let's rise up as we pray. History being made there in Akure, the Ondo State Capital, as Lucky Aida Tiwa is sworn in as the new governor of Ondo State. Ms. Aida Tiwa was deputy governor to Uluwarotimi Akeredolo, who passed on earlier today while receiving medical attention at a hospital in Germany. He was battling leukemia and uh, protracted prostate cancer. And the reactions have actually been pouring in, talking about the life and the legacy of the man, Rotimi Akeredolo, an astute legal luminary, a senior advocate of Nigeria, a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, uh, former Attorney General of his state, Ondo State, and uh, a two-time governor of Ondo State. And that unfortunate uh, incident of his passing happened earlier today. Reactions have been pouring in from the president, Bola Tinubu, who described it as uh, being with a heavy heart to actually write something about him. And uh, it's been uh, multiple events, uh, like two major events today about the, the passing of uh, individuals who have contributed to democratic dispensation in Nigeria. The other person is uh, Gali Umar Naaba, who is a former Speaker of the House of Representatives. He is being buried in Kano, and live visuals there from Kano State where the funeral rites is taking place. Tima has just arrived Kano State to participate in the funeral rite of Gali Umar Naaba, a former Speaker of the House of Representatives. Earlier today, the Vice President was in just the Plateau State Capitol to visit victims of Christmas Eve's attack, where over 100 people were killed.
Palace of the Emir of Kano there in the ancient city of Kano where guests are gathered to witness the funeral rites of a former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Gali Umar Naaba, Vice President of Nigeria, Kashim Shatima. Uh, we saw a while ago alighting from his car and paying obeisance to some dignitaries there. He got into the car a while ago and... Uh, that his convoy just uh, driving out of there. It's the funeral of uh, Gali Umar Naaba, a former speaker of the House of Representatives. He will be buried today according to Islamic rights. And there we have people gathered to witness that ceremony. And as we saw earlier, Vice President Kashim Shatima representing the President Ola Tinubu at the event. The prayers have just been concluded and uh, now we're waiting for the actual burial. <laughs>
Live pictures from the ancient city of Kano are the funeral of uh, Gali Umarana Aba, born 27 September 1958 and died today 27th uh, of uh, December 2023. Uh, Naba was actually born in uh, Kano State, northwest Nigeria, uh, that in Tudun Wada in the ancient city of uh, Kano. He was, uh, of course, a politician and he represented his uh, people, uh, his constituency there in the House of uh, Representatives. Mr. Naaba had obtained a bachelor's degree in political science from the Ahmadu Belo University, Zaria, that was in the year 1979. And uh, uh, of course, uh, he then went on to you know, joined politics in full, rising to the point of becoming Speaker of the House of Representatives. And uh, he's known for, especially for his uh, strong stance on, on political development and uh, his stand against the rumored third term bid of former President Olusegun Obasanjo. As Speaker, he was uh, preceded by Salisu Buhari and succeeded by Aminu Bilu Masari, who went on to become, uh, later become the governor of uh, Katsina State. Gali Umar Naaba, a former speaker of the House of Representatives, is being buried today in the ancient city of Kano, and Vice President Kashim Shatima is there alongside other dignitaries to witness the ceremony. Remember that uh, VP Shatima was earlier today in just the Plateau State Capital to uh, visit and to condole the people of the state over the unfortunate incident on Christmas Eve. We'll now go back to our regular programming at 6. We'll bring you the program Beyond 100 Days to stay with TVC News. Uh, 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 members for local government. I am aware that there is no signature that came. There is no letter that came from Akati for that process. So all of these things being done well, at time after... Do you yeah. I will still hold the House of Assembly responsible for being at the center of this of crisis. Of course, of course. Uh, and it's because the Speaker too wants to benefit, ambition. benefit from the unfortunate... <laughs> yes. It is politics. He wants to be acting governor. Mm. Because of like Friday, are 